what's going on everyone it's mr west i hope you're all well so in this video i'm just going to do a very quick tutorial on how to connect your brand new oneplus 6 to your windows pc or laptop i will be doing a mac os version further down the line but for today we're going to concentrate just on the windows side of things and how to get it all connected up now fresh out of the box it's a very very frustrating experience when you plug in the phone the first time you're likely to be met with a USB device not found message in the bottom right hand corner of your Windows screen. And also when you open Windows File Explorer, you can see the OnePlus 6 there, but when you click on it, it just comes up with this folder is empty on the screen. So in order to do that, you just leave your PC on. Uh, you need to go into the settings option. So swipe down from the top of your screen on your OnePlus 6, press the gear icon to go into settings, and then you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on about phone. Now once you do that, you need to go to the bottom of the next screen and look at the build number. Now what you then need to do is click that seven times. When you're clicking it, you'll see a message popping up saying you're almost a developer. And once you've completed it, it will just say you're now a developer. And if you've got a passcode enabled, it will ask you to punch that in just to activate that option. Now once you've done that, what you then need to do is go back a page and look for developer options, which should be just towards the bottom of the main menu just between the software updates and about phone menu. You need to scroll through the options and look for USB debugging. So you need to toggle that switch on and then you need to go further down the page and then select the USB debugging modes. Now it's quite important you pick the right one here. Just select it and then you need to select MTP transfer protocol which is the second one down on the list in order to enable it. So all you need to then is just back out of that screen and back out again until you get back to the main menu of your OnePlus 6. What we do then is just unplug the USB cable first of all. I'm not sure if this makes any difference or not, but it did work for me. And then plug that back into the OnePlus 6 and then you'll find, you'll hear the Windows ping sound, which means it's recognized the USB device. So once the phone is now connected, what you need to do is pull down the navigation bar and expand that until you see an option which says Android system. Now it will say USB charging this device. If you click on that it'll expand the menu and all you need to do is click on transfer file and then you'll hear another ping from windows to let you know that it's now in transfer files mode and once you've done so if windows file explorer doesn't automatically pop up for you just click the folder icon in the bottom of your task tray or in your folder options wherever you have it and you should see that the one plus six is still there on the left hand side of the tree menu just click on the one plus six and you will see then that the actual internal storage will then show up as a folder inside the Windows Explorer screen. Just need then to double click on that and then you can basically transfer files to and from your new OnePlus 6 to your heart's content. Now I did do a video about this last year for the OnePlus 5, but it's always great to have a refresher and a slightly different slant on things with a bit better production value than last year. Um, I'm not sure why the OnePlus 6 does this. It's not the only phone that I've noticed does it, um, but you know the Huawei P20, which I've been testing, that transfers files fine, fresh out of the box. Also, Samsung phones seem to do it as well. But there are a number of phones I, which I have tried, uh, like my Stepson's Motorola G5S Plus. That didn't do it straight out of the box either. So I'm not sure why it does it. If you know, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know why, why that happens. However, I do hope this works for you. I've tried it and untried it. I've just undone the developer options and gone back into it again, and it works absolutely fine each time. So I do hope that this actually helps you and stops you tearing your hair out like I did last year. The OnePlus 5 nearly met its end out of a window. It was so, so frustrating. So if you've got any questions or comments about this video or any other tips you want to share about the OnePlus 6, please leave those in the comments down below. And also don't forget to follow me on my social channels, which will be popping up on screen right here now. And also leave me some feedback or any questions or comments you have about today's video. Please ensure you like, share and subscribe to the channel, making sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content coming soon. But for today, that's my quick tutorial on how to connect your OnePlus 6 via USB to your Windows laptop or PC. My name is Mr. West, and I will catch you guys later.